Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris Greenwood here, also known as Manifest. In this video, I wanted to share with you two stories in the music industry. One of struggle and one of success. I've been doing this for over 10 years full-time, touring over 21 different countries, sold hundreds of thousands of albums and a million singles. But it didn't always start out that way. Music was a real struggle for me at first. Well, first of all, I failed it in public school, so the fact that I'm doing it full-time, I think uh, God has a sense of humor. But I'll never forget when I quit my job that I was making over $70,000 a year to pursue this dream of music. I remember I went into $30,000 in debt in the first few months. I thought I was going to be this rock rap star overnight, but it didn't happen like that. I remember getting this tour opportunity that I thought was so awesome, but this was a different type of tour because I wasn't getting paid to play. Instead, I was paying the band $150 every night to get on their tour. And when I got on the tour, I was super stoked, but then when when I got there to the first show, I realized there was five of us total on this tour, me plus four other bands, and I had a 15 minute slot, or at least that's what I was told, until I realized I was actually playing a song in between every single band, and I was kind of like the MC introducing them after the song, so it didn't really allow me to connect with the audience, it was really frustrating, and to make matters worse, bands when, when they were, had to switch over, and so while I was performing, Guitars were getting plugged in, pedal boards adjusted, microphone, drums, people bumping into me while they're plugging in cables while I'm trying to sing. It was so frustrating. And at that same time, while on that tour, right before I took that that tour opportunity, my old job had offered me to come back at a higher salary, making more money. But I didn't take it. I kept the, pursuing the music and going for it. And I got off that tour and I was a little frustrated, a little bummed out. It was during Christmas time, so I came home to my wife and we didn't really have a lot of money after that. And it was just like, ah, oh. but we kept on going, kept on pursuing the dream. And that reminds me of something Akon said when I was at the ASCAP Expo, and it's this. A lot of artists step out of line right before their name is called. You know, King Solomon said this, even though a man falls down seven times, he gets up and goes again. And I just want to encourage you to get up and go again. Keep moving. I know the music industry sucks sometimes and it can be frustrating to want to promote your music and get yourself out there. Well, check this out. The next year, I remember getting a call from the record label I had signed to. And I was on tour in Texas and I get the call and he's like, hey, Chris, what's going on? What's up? What's up? And we're just doing a little chit chat. And then he's like, hey, Chris, I got good news. I'm like, good news. Please tell me some good news. He's like, well, you're doing well in Japan. I'm like, oh cool. Well, what does that mean? He's like, well, we imported 10,000 records over there and those sold out in the first week. So we imported another 10,000. Those sold out. Then another 10,000. Those are gone. So the label in Japan wants to do a full album release. They want you to shoot a music video for your song Impossible. We got all these interviews set up with radio stations and I think there's a possibility for a tour. I was like, what? I'm big in Japan? Are you kidding me? It was the craziest time. I ended up emailing some booking agents to see if we could set up a tour. We were able to fly me and my whole band, all expenses paid. They paid me really well. We did a packed show in Osaka and Tokyo. Kids singing every lyric to every song. I was signing autographs after the show, trying to talk to some of my fans, and they couldn't even speak English. It was a crazy time. It breathed new life into my career and allowed me to have success in other countries like um, North America, Europe, all over the place. And I just share that story because I can take no credit for it. I don't know what happened. All I know is that I stayed in the game. I stuck with it. I put my music out there. I kept on posting on Facebook. I kept marketing myself online, kept on doing tours, kept on doing shows. And I just say, hey, if that can happen to me in my life, where I came from a small town in Pickering, Ontario. I can only imagine the opportunity in your life if you just stay in the game and keep going and keep marketing your music. You know, you don't have to be great to get started, but you do have to start to become great. A lot of you know that um, I've created a bunch of courses and I'm kind of investing in the next generation of artists. And so I've created some courses on marketing your music, how to get big on YouTube and make money, how to market your music properly on social media, how to actually market and put out an album. Um, I remember in the early days, putting on a show was so important. So I created a course on how you can uh, perform and overcome stage fright and really connect with the audience without being salesy and without being pitchy from stage. Nobody wants that. I created all these courses so that I could help you artists. And if you're watching this video, if you click on one of the links below, you're getting 50% off all my courses, even including my brand new one on SoundCloud, because SoundCloud is a huge opportunity for artists. And you know what? It doesn't take a lot of money 
to get out there, but it just takes some time of consistency and staying at it and staying at it and having a content strategy and getting yourself out there. And I'll never forget some of the labels um, that I had signed with. They were always happy with me because, you know, after an album release, I didn't stop marketing. I kept on marketing. I kept on putting my music out there and kept on, you know, connecting with my fans and building a fan base so that, you know, there wasn't like, okay, I promoted my, my music for a time while the album came out and then I stopped for six months. No, I stayed in there and I built a career. Career. And that's what I want you. I want to teach you how to build a career. And so if you're watching this video, if you click on any of the links below, you can get over 50% off any of my courses, which I know will help you out because I know the struggle. I know what it's like. And I just want to encourage you to stick with it. You know, whether you take any of my courses or not, I just want to see you win. And that's why I shared this story with you because, you know, it does get dark out there. It does get rough and it's not always easy. But you know what? Stick with it because it's worth it. We could all be doing something else with our lives, doing something in bed banking or computers, but we do music because we love it and we want to get a message out there and we're just passionate about it. So keep making music, keep creating and don't quit. Peace. Music to me is a, an expression of, you know, my beliefs or ideas, a way to get a message across, a way to get emotion across, to reach and touch people. I thought I knew it all, but I didn't. I thought I'd seen it all just beginning. Sometimes we fall before we finish. This ain't a call, it's just realness I never knew my dad, I just hide it I never took the class, I just write it Sometimes I don't like what I see Sometimes it's so hard to believe Down and out, I start to doubt I hit the ground, I bruise, but I won't break I won't break You can say I'm done, but this is just artist, you're making music, you're making it because you want to make a difference. You want to, you know, make people feel something.